So I picked up this dove, unfortunately passed away. I don't know what happened. But, well, let's show him to Diego. I mean, at least this dove will always be remembered as the one that was showed to the tigers. Let's do that. Diego! So sad actually to see them. Look how beautiful this dove is. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry guys, my hands are still dirty. I was working on the car at the moment. I just made a review on the car, doing something, and found this stuff. Look at these feathers. They are amazing. Look at that. Can you believe it? And if you really have to think about this, this is something that flies around and lives. It's actually, it's special. It's not just something. And uh, look at those feathers. This is probably one of the most beautiful doves that I've seen in my life. Now, that feathers, I know something about those feathers that I don't think anybody else knows. And I will reveal it sometime. And uh, remember that fine hair like feathers on its head. Because that is something very, very special. And I'm going to tell that one day. I don't know if I should. I don't know if people are ready to hear it. But I will be making it public eventually. And uh, I've seen those feathers before. And it was not on a dove. So, here's another one right over there where the tigers are. Look at this. Perfect. If you can appreciate the perfection in these feathers, I mean, you bring yourself up to a point where you can, where you can appreciate so much more. But look at that. This is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yeah, you will. <laughs> Compare the technology. Look at that. That's a metallic green. Different shades of metallic green. On something that you see every single day. And you don't even notice it. These tigers are absolutely perfect as well. If you look at them from close you see something that is not possible to make. <laughs> Doesn't matter how good our technology is. And Diego actually got a little bit of a fright. Let's see how he reacts. Mm. He wants to take it. He licks the dove. Ah, oh, Diego. I don't want him to take it. Look at that, he licks the dove. Ah, oh, Diego. Well, he, that's where my fingers are. But... Little Miss Sassy Pants here as well. Diego is just checking this dove out. He wants to take the dove. I'm not going to let him. He does not need to take this dove. Look at that pure white right here on the back. Oh, he wants this dove. <laughs> I need to trim those nails of his a little bit. No. <laughs> Let's see that. Diego. Yeah. 
so much beauty in this one picture. Look at that eye. <laughs> he really wants this dove. He won't eat it. I know it because he's not hungry. I feed them always. But he's really so interested in this. He just licks the dove. He wants to get a feather there. Ah, and he's got a feather, but I'm not going to let him take it. I'm sorry. No. Let's get Enzo here as well. Enzo! Enzo! Enzo is just lying there. Diego! He wants this little dove. And to be honest, think about it. This dove passed away. The right thing would be to give it to Diego and he will dispose of it. The only reason why I don't is because he is so spoiled and I don't think he's really going to do a proper job of disposing of it. And he would eat it if he was hungry. But since I feed them, I don't think he will. Well, now I'm just teasing him, so I better stop showing him this or give it to him. But, yeah, should I give it to him? What is the right thing to do? If you think about this, sometimes it's not that easy to make the right decision. And the decision can get you in big trouble. So... Yeah, it was lying down for a while, so there you can see the flat part. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And Enzo just wants to sleep through it all. But little opal over here. Let's see how they react to the dove. My cats are just playing. Yeah, even though this dove has passed away. It will be remembered. Really sad to see something so perfect die. Although, if you look at it from another point of view, and you see this as only, well, let's compare it to a drone. This is the ultimate drone. There is no better drone. They can fly without needing a battery charge. And if you had the technology to develop a drone further, where will you end up with it? Will it look like this, being able to repair itself if it gets hurt? Well, yes, that is where it will end up. If we are going to keep on developing all the things we have, well, well we're going to move out of the mechanical age. And then we're going to move into two ages that comes together. The one will be biological and spiritual. And between those two, will be able to have a dove that is alive because there's a big difference between having a dove and having a dove that is alive or having a tiger and the tiger that is alive now technology just keeps on going but at the end this is what you will have in a biological world. But you need something to drive it, something to make it work, something to control it. Now if you're gonna map a body like this, you're going to have to tell it to survive on its own. But 
that will be the instinct. But then, let's say you as a consciousness wants to take possession of this dove or this tiger. If you have the right permission, you might be able to do it. So if you want to go fly a drone, you could maybe just take a dove and fly with it. If you don't want it anymore, you can just leave it and it will carry on existing and have little ones. And when you want to use it again, it will be available for you to use. The same with a tiger. You want to go for a walk through the jungle, you might just be able to take possession of that body. And when you're done with it, you can just leave it and it will go exist with all the rest. That's technology. But this world is still very far from that. They will get there if they qualify to get there. So I'm going to leave it right there because this is going too far and little Miss Sassy Pants are looking at this dove. So when you see this dove and Miss Sassy Pants over there, see how she is not heartbroken about it. I'm going to stop her as well because I do have a lot of respect for this dove. Katas wants to just quickly have a look as well. I'm going to let her. No, but we need to dispose of this dove now. How will I do it? How should I do it? Because I don't want these little ones to think that it's okay to catch them. And to, well, if they need to eat it, absolutely. Catch the oldest one. Catch the slowest one. Catch the one that has got a broken wing. That's the right way to do it and to dis what to dispose of. But if they're perfect, why don't we just leave them alone? Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you realize something in this video. Have a good day.